All right, for the, the ma this max, we have our impossible push-up again. Last time we did, tw it was 28 seconds on the down, 15 seconds on the up. Let's try to do, we're gonna do, go for higher than that. Let's see how it goes, and I'll be there in just a minute. All right, for the cardio asada, we're going to need a half a gallon bag. Then we're going to put a half a cup of orange juice. In. Then we're going to put the juice of two limes in there. This is going to be for the marinade. So the more the better for the more flavor we can get. Then we're going to add four cloves of garlic in the back. It's starting to come along nicely. Then we got a half a cup of cilantro. All right, and then we have half a teaspoon of salt. Then we put a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Then you put in two tablespoons, not just the one, of white vinegar. Then we put in a quarter cup of vegetable oil. And there we go. Then you also can add a uh, Diced up, I mean, a minced jalapeno, but I don't, I, like I said in past videos, my family doesn't like spicy food that much, so I, I'm leaving the jalapeno out. Then you, what you do is you squeeze it around to mix it up. Then we're going to put the flank steak in the marinade and reseal the package and then we're going to squeeze it around till all the exposing all the steak to the marinade Then once it's all mixed up, we're going to take it and put it in the fridge for up to for two hours or overnight, depending on when you're wanting to cook this. So this is for me, it's going to go in for two hours because I'm going to be cooking this later today. Next, we're going to get the grill out ready and we're going to turn it on to high for and then we're going to be cooking for 7 to 10 minutes. And all right. Then we're going to put the steak in. Yes, I'm going to adjust that before I close the top there and finish cooking. And then we wait. Alright, today is going to be my first attempt at cooking some carne asada for y'all. 
for my family. Uh, something I've never cooked before, but I've always wanted to try it. But, and never ate it before either, so this uh, day full first. So I'll let y'all know how it turns out. And as you can hear, it's already going. And But I'll show you what all the prep I did before this in just a little bit. All right, and there we go. It's our finished product of carne asada. My first ever attempt at it. I think it smells really good in the house right now. And I can't wait to give it a try. Uh, first, we're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes and then we're gonna slice against the grain. And then we got some tortillas there and it's gonna be pretty darn good if you had, I tell you what. And we'll, I'll be back with the taste test. All right, I tried the, forgot to record me taste testing the, the carne asada, but it was, I could definitely tell the hype behind it, why it's so such a popular dish. The orange juice really just takes it up a notch. It, and then adding the vinegar in there to really tenderizes it and it makes it just so where it just goes down and it, the flavor is just on point. I highly recommend trying this recipe. Um, make sure to, if you haven't already, to, to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those post notifications, and comment down uh, what your favorite recipe to try is that is got a, that's low on calories and something that you want to try yourself. All right, this is the start of week six. Uh, we got uh, weight loss impossible. I'm really starting to feel the difference in my build, and I really feel like I've been losing a lot of weight. Let's step on the scale and see where we're at. Well, it looks like we gained some weight this week, and it was at 248.2. I that happened out of nowhere, huh? I guess that's. Just muscle. I feel like I've been getting stronger, so that does make sense. So, yeah. Well, that's a wrap for this week. We'll see you next time. All right, for this part of the Weight Loss Impossible vlog, we are doing the impossible squat. Uh, last time we did 45 seconds down, 15 up. Let's see if we can go for a better time on both this time. I'm really feeling it today. I think I'm gonna do a really good job. But first, I'm gonna make sure I'm stretched and stuff because you always need to stretch before any m movement you do in a workout. And we're back. All right, here we go.